How's it going guys? So in today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you a brand new node that's just been added to Blender that's gonna allow you to make some really cool abstract geometry. I'm a big fan of abstract stuff in 3D, so this is just super fun for me. So we'll get into that right after this quick shout out. Welcome to Real Time Materials, a collection of customizable procedural materials compatible with EV and Cycles. With over six years of experience, I have created an add-on currently containing 240 materials across 14 surface categories. This add-on will speed up your workflow, allowing you to stay creative while maximizing your artistic output. You might be thinking, what about image textures? Image textures are easy to set up, but don't give you any control. Real-time materials are loaded with custom properties, giving you the freedom to change roughness, color, and all kinds of patterns. You can change the shape of wood, the direction of cloth weave, and the size of scratches, among many other parameters. Even if you already know how to make procedural materials, imagine the time you will save if you could apply those materials in one easy click. Uh, now, very, very important in order for you to follow along, you need the experimental build of Blender. So, so type in exper Blender experimental builds, go here to Blender builds and then go ahead and download whatever the latest one is. Now for here, you're gonna want the 3.3 alpha. Go ahead, download that, unzip it. And then once you unzip it, you're gonna get a bunch of stuff. Click on the Blender execute file right there. And that's gonna bring you up here. You can see 3.3 alpha, really cool, really fun. And so let me show you, it's not really that difficult. It's a fun little project, fun little thing to use. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna introduce a plane here. It's only a bit of geometry we're gonna need. Let's go here to geometry nodes. I'm gonna go ahead and kill that window, click new, and let's type in volume cube. That's the new feature here, the volume cube. Now, if you want more info on this and see what other people are doing with the volume cube, go on Twitter and just type in blender volume cube. There's a bunch of really cool stuff, Benny Goverts, um, BBN, BBBN, 19, I think he's done some stuff, um, but a bunch of people have been playing with this and I'm gonna show you guys how to use it. You can go ahead and delete that if you want. And then we're gonna go here to volume to mesh. So now we've turned that volume into real geometry here. So what we're gonna do, need to do is play with this density right here. And that's gonna be with a color ramp and a texture. So get a color ramp. In this case, we're just gonna do a Voronoi. Voronoi texture, we'll plug the distance into the color ramp and plug the color to the density. And um, let's go ahead and bring that color ramp in and let's bring that scale to one. So look at this, it, we have this low poly weird thing. Right here is your resolution. So you can go ahead and click and drag. You can do that or you can just go ahead and get a subdivide mesh node and that's gonna go ahead and subdivide your mesh. But it's really not gonna work that well. Will it work better here? No. So really, <laughs> I hadn't rehearsed that part. So just go ahead and click and drag and that's gonna give you more subdivision here. Be careful, this is uh, just like anything. And then we can go ahead, set shade smooth, there we go. So let's check this out, what are we at? A resolution of 90, we'll do 60 for now just so we can handle it. So we got some weird stuff and you can play with the scale of your texture. I'm gonna go ahead and go from F1 to distance to edge and then we have all of this craziness that you can now have a lot of fun with on the volume cube. So say we have that, let's go ahead and introduce a Musgrave. So this is just like texturing in the node system, just throwing things at it and seeing what happens. We'll do a scale of one. And there we go, look at this. We have a weird cube and we can go here to 4D and we can play with that W and animate that. And so your possibilities are relatively in, um, endless. So like this animation right here, I created with the volume cube and I'll be doing a tutorial for that animation on Patreon in about a day or two. So if you're part of the Patreon, look out for that. Um, that's for tier two and three. So yeah, this is just crazy stuff. Um, you can do anything you want. So shift A and go here to your textures and this is all the textures you have access to. Um, I haven't played with the brick texture on this just yet. That's gotta be kind of weird. So we'll bring that scale down. Look at that, now we have bricks and they're relatively nicely beveled. Um, it's not gonna be, it's not a 3D texture, so you're gonna have this craziness, um, but you can have a good amount of fun with this and you can bring this in too to kind of goof with it. Um, there's a lot of potential here. See, so we can just do like 
classic noise texture. We'll do 40 so we can animate it. And uh, we'll bring that scale to like 1.5. And then there we go. And then play with that W. And now you have liquid in a, in a, in a sense. We can read that detail all the way down so you can get it perfectly smooth here, playing with that W. So this is just an interesting way to make more abstract object. Now, can you do it with a cylinder? Can you do it with a, a sphere? Not as simply as this, like this is very few um, nodes. But if you go on Twitter, there's a couple guys who are, you can look at their node tree and you can see what other objects they're able to kind of apply this to. Uh, so this is an experimental thing. Currently, we don't have access to that this in like a stable build. But for me, as someone who loves to do abstract and started this channel doing abstract stuff, this is just eye candy for me. And you can even play with this min right here, right here in the, uh, the node. And now it's longer. That's how I created that animation I showed you. Um, so you can just kind of go nuts with it. Let's go, let's go throw, let's go throw a Voronoi on the noise. Let's just, let's just flip it. Boom. And then we'll go scale of like one. Look how gross that is. <laughs> Look how gross that is. Let's do an invert. Is there an invert? We don't, we can't invert it. So we'll just get a color ramp and invert it. Cool. Now it's spheres. Um, and you can have a lot of fun with this. It's just crazy stuff. And like you can run a camera through that and then you can kind of um, goof with the 4D here on the uh, the spheres. But there you go. That's, that's, that's the video. Um, thank you guys for watching. And I will see you in the next tutorial. Have fun with this. I hope you learned some stuff.